Hey guys, I'm back. I've been away for a while. A good friend of mine just passed away. Rest in peace, B. I felt that it was time to change my getup. And look at this comfy sweater. It's perfect for the winter. And you know what it reminds me of? We might as well say. Would you be mine? Could you be mine? Won't you be my neighbor? So it looks like we're one level away from the main quest. I'm curious if these uh, side quests gives out XP, so we're gonna finish this quest that we started months ago. We're gonna collect Cressida's last uh, flying book. Alright Cressida, here we are. We're finally gonna get you your books. I hope you weren't in a hurry to get it or anything. I know it's been a while. Revelio. So, I think it's just probably gonna be flying around, maybe. Oh, is that it? Akio. That's the last book. Oh, yes. I have to take them back to Cressida. That was easy. Let's read this real quick. Today was a good day. That is, until Gareth splashed whatever ridiculous concoction he was creating all over my perfectly stewed lacewing flies. Had to empty my entire cauldron and start all over again. He is such a menace. Thinks he knows everything there is to know about potions. Always disrupting Professor Sharp's class with his experiments. I'm utterly convinced that if he wasn't Professor Weasley's nephew, he would have been expelled by now. Our broth Smokies again tonight for dinner. I'm becoming more partial to them now. Although, I still prefer meat pie. Man, I really want to try meat pie. In America, we, uh, we mostly have, you know, apple pie, pumpkin pie. Especially where I'm at, pumpkin pie is really popular. All right, Let's see if we can get XP for this. We got it. Any luck finding my diary? Hello, Cressida. I collected your books, including your diary. Oh, what a relief. Thank you. I'll happily take the heavy lot off your hands now. <laughs> Perhaps a reward to keep the diary a Oh my gosh, you devilish dog. I want to see what happens if you choose this one. Unless you want your classmates to know how you really feel about them, you might reward me for my time. Oh, you're not at all who I thought you to be. <laughs> hmm, should we double down on this? Yes, I am feeling quite devious today. And you're not who I thought you to be. Based upon your diary, you seem terribly judgmental. Fine, I shall pay you. But you cannot begin to imagine what I shall be writing about you next. Oh gosh. <laughs> Should never have trusted them. Oh man, that was a very Slytherin move. I feel bad now. I really wanted to see what, it's a what relief that. relief to finally have an answer as to why that portrait was empty. I really wanted to see what happens with if I chose that dialogue. I don't think that gave me any XP. What the heck? How do we get XP then? I want to do this one, but. I still don't know where that one ingredient is. It wasn't there, the freaking seeds. It weren't it wasn't there. Alright, we're gonna we're gonna visit um Professor Garlic real quick. Maybe she has it in the classroom or something. There we are. Back in a ball of jay. Miss Garlic! I'm looking for flux weed. You know, I am quite interested in her background first. Let's hear about that. Professor, I was wondering where you're from. What's your background? Oh, how nice of you to ask. Well, let's see, I grew up in London, right on the Thames. I expected a farm. <laughs> Makes sense because, you know, she's all into plants and stuff. Forgive me. I was sure you must have been raised in the countryside. I used to dream of just that. But it wasn't until I came to Hogwarts that I felt truly at home. Mind you, it did take some time. And whilst it is my fervent hope that each student eventually feels as at home here as I do, it is not always the case. I suppose that makes sense. Well, we each bloom differently, don't we? Some of us, like Devil's Snare, thrive in the shadows, whilst others crave the attention of a bouncing bulb. And we each grow and thrive according to our own plan. Oh, I was terribly nervous when I arrived at the castle. You see, as a child, I knew nothing of witches or wizards. You can imagine how astonished I was to receive my letter from Hogwarts. 
I spent a good deal of time alone in either the greenhouse or the library my first days here. Wait, so was she muggle-born? But back to what she said about the countryside. Urban or suburban or rural? What do you guys prefer? Studies show that people who live in rural areas are happier overall. At least on the, like, tests that they conducted. Perhaps that has to do with the fact that you're away from other people, you have more space, more open air. I think perhaps that's a goal of mine, to have, like, a farm out there somewhere. The only downside is your internet's probably crap. It's a shame people weren't kinder. What does that mean? I'm sorry the other students weren't more friendly. Oh, but I've given you the wrong impression. On the contrary, I was shown great kindness. In fact, a seventh year took me under her wing during those first days. She remains one of my dearest friends. How fortunate. I was indeed. I dare say you'll find that the friends you make here at Hogwarts will last a lifetime. Now, I'd best get to my recent delivery from the Magic Neep. Mr. Teasdale promised me quite an assortment of seeds this week. Lovely to see you. You know, it's not always the case, though. A lot of the times your friends, you know, move away, they become busy, and you lose touch. At least I have you guys, my best friends of all. Alright, we're gonna explore this place. I'm looking for Fluxweed. It might just be hanging out around here. Ugh, where is it? Maybe I already have it, or something. Let's check out my inventory. Oh, well, it tells us here when we hover over the stem. The Fluxweed seeds can be purchased from the Magic Ne- I was there! It better frickin' be there if I- if I cook- if I go back. Greetings! Please, take your time looking about. It's not here! Yo, this game is- this quest is bugged, I swear. Or glitched or something. You know, I don't see it in my inventory. We're gonna visit the room of requirements real quick. Maybe it's... Maybe Deke will give us an option to, like, plant it or something? I don't know. Yeah, I definitely don't have it, but... I mean, the option's here. It says incorrect pot size, though. How do we upgrade the pot size? Maybe we have to conjure one of these large potting tables first. We definitely have enough Moonstone. I guess we need to purchase this spell from Tomes and Scrolls? Where is that? Here it is, back in Hogsmeade. It's a bookstore. Dang, is that... It's just mirror that out. Is that owl huge? I was wondering when I'd see you again. I, I don't even remember Let's the last time I was here. It must have been months. Must have been months. Oh my gosh, these are so expensive. Woo! I need a thousand. I need a freaking thousand. All right, we're going to sell some stuff. I hope we have enough. We're not going to sell any of these un unidentified stuff yet. Well, maybe we can. I don't know. What is... What is is superb good? Ah, you know what? We're just gonna sell it. I really wanna see what happens if I get this. This better be it. I, I gave up some possibly awesome sauce gear. Potting table with a large pot spellcraft. Gotta make sure I buy the right one. Nothing like finding just the right thing, is there? Let me know if there's anything else I can do to help. Dang, this stuff is expensive. I really need to learn that Alohomora 2 and stuff and start start raiding the village of Hogsmeade. Ooh, is that a, it is a real owl. <laughs> oh. Dang, there's a lot of random owls here at Hogsmeade. Whoa, did I kill that owl? No, I didn't. Seem to be invulnerable. This this one looks just like Hedwig. But there's no possible way this could be Hedwig. Okay, let's go back. 
back to the room. The secret room. Okay, we're gonna conjure this table. I just realized that since I bought the table, I probably won't have enough to buy the, uh, the seed itself. Oh well. I hope it just gives me the option to buy it, at least. We're just gonna put it here in this corner. Here we are. What? I have a flux weed. I checked my inventory earlier. It wasn't there. What the heck, man? All right, we, we just planted it. It's gonna take 15 minutes. We will be back. Oh wait, we can use fertilizer. Let's just use it. Is this like instant or something? Oh, it just increases the yield. It's been a while since I've checked on my pets. Let's see how they're doing. Hello. Oh, hi. What? I didn't have to feed it. It just gave me fur outright. What? I guess we don't need to feed them all the time. You hungry? Oh yes, he's starving. He must be starving. I haven't been here in a while. Is that enough? Oh, we gotta pet it or brush it? There you go, jabbing old fella. Thank you. Don't know what this is for, but it's mine now. All oh, right, right. Uh, we didn't get this the moon calf. Oh, we have an option to return to the wild. I don't know. If I return him to the wild, then I'm gonna get lonely. Man, its eyes are huge. I wonder if it's like nearsighted or like farsighted. I wonder how it looks from its perspective. Alright, so we still got Pepe up there. There needs to be an option. Why can't we name our pets? Maybe there is an option, I just don't know about it. Pepe? Where are you, Pepe? There you are. Oh, you're looking nice and healthy, you are. We'll pet you and we'll feed you, Deary Crawl. Oh, you like it when I scratch your chin. I assume you're hungry. D Dang, he just gobbled that. We just got some toad warts. Ew. We better not be using that in a potion or something. That would be nasty. Whoa, I didn't even realize there were all these books up there. Can't Accio them, can we? Let's try it out. Accio. No? Oh, I guess not. Still 10 minutes to go. Let's check out, uh, how do we identify clothes and stuff? Was it this thing? Oh, okay. Wow, that was easy. Alright, so that's how we do it. Didn't we have a legendary item? Oh yeah, here it is. Ceramic mask, legendary. It's got ancient magic one, increased damage from ancient magic. Oh, that is, that is definitely good. Oh man, I'm getting some eyes wide shut vibes with this mask. 
we're definitely gonna be transmogging it. Here I am. It's my beautiful face. So we still got nine minutes. Is there any place I want to go? Since we have nine minutes left, we're gonna do this quest. Madam Kagawa's assignment two. Madam Kagawa wants me to practice flying on my broom near Keenbridge Tower along the water to the south of Hogwarts. She also wants me to fly around the spires in the mountains to the southwest. Sounds good. I think I can do that. And we're gonna get Arresto Momentum. We're gonna have a bit of a night ride. A joy ride. Luckily, there's no curfew at Hogwarts. Oh, is that it? I think that's it. I think we need to pop these things. Oh, was that a, uh, what's it called? Merlin trial, that's it. Honestly, it's not that big. Worse. If there is any chance that the relic from Slytherin's spellbook can help her, I must find it. I'm requesting your help. Meet me outside of Feldcroft, near the catacomb. Bro, I'm growing some plants. Hold up. There we go. Okay, now we need to pop five more balloons in this area. There's one of them. I feel like I'm playing uh, balloons tower defense. Popping them balloons. It's definitely one of my favorite games as well. I love balloons tower defense. There's two more. I don't know where they are. Oh, I think I found it. Yep. Here they are. That's it. All right, Madam K, I'm on my way. Man, I can't wait uh, for the Quidditch. I guess it's a standalone game coming out. Should be real Welcome fun. Back. Have you finished your assignments? Reporting back, Professor. Assignments all finished. Well done. That's right. Shows good discipline. Wisdom is a golden snitch, as they say. And you're proving a skilled seeker in that regard. Let us practice our restore momentum. A charm, incidentally, created to stop Quaffles from plummeting straight to the ground during a Quidditch match. Precise, deliberate movements. Oh, oh no. Okay. <laughs> I love how it was, it was like in an M for a resto momentum. <laughs> slows the motion of enemies and objects. The larger the target, the less effect the spell will have on it. So it's like a freezing spell. I wonder what the difference is between this and uh, Petrificus Totalis. Well, I guess maybe this one, uh, you can also stop inanimate objects. Very good. I recommend practicing your new spell as much as possible. Perhaps before you leave here. All right, let's check that out then. I feel like four uh, spell pages is not enough. That means we only have access to 16 spells at a time. So this is a yellow spell. It's hard to know which spell is better because it's not like there's any damage stats or any of, on any of these spells. Eh, let's just replace it with this one. So what can we stop? Uh, this thing? Arrest them. That's it. Keep it up. Yep. Awesome. There's a hidden note. 
Dear Madam Kagawa, I'm writing to do with Professor Black's decision to cancel Quidditch. As you know, joining a professional Quidditch team is my utmost dream, and I believe my chances will now be ruined or at least significantly thwarted. Professor Weasley insists that we must defer to the headmaster, and she encouraged me to practice on my own. I have devised some challenging trials for myself, but it's not at all the same as practicing on the pitch. Nothing is. Please could I ask that you speak to the headmaster or to Professor Weasley. I shall be miserable my whole life if I can't play Quidditch properly for this entire year. Thank you, Professor Imelda Reyes. Wasn't that the girl that uh, we beat? In that race I think maybe the fact that we beat her may have motivated her to try harder <laughs> okay I think that a uh, flux weed is done let's go check on it oh oh my gosh three minutes we're just gonna wait it out and we're done wait what Oh yeah, wait, Flux Sweet Stem. We got it, right? Yeah, we got it. Okay, so now we just need to use them all simultaneously. It's time to head out. I'm itching for a fight, I am. I think that there were some baddies over here. Would anyone like to be- Oh, there's some wild hippogriffs. I think that one that I got, like, came in the DLC. I wonder if we have to capture one, like, normally, if we had the standard edition. Anyways, I don't want to fight hippogriffs. I want to fight, like, gablins or something. Any gablins over here? Oh, it's like a fortress. It's probably something to fight over here. Oh, yep, there is. With dueling feats, slow an Ashwinder executioner after they release their light. Alright. Oh! Oh my gosh, wait, what level are these guys? Oh my gosh, they are so high level. Oh, how do I use it? How do I use it? Oh, uh, this one. So we need to use. Let's use all of them. Oh gosh. Wait, what was the button? Oh, I almost got wrecked there. Okay. No! Wait, how do I use it? Is it left bumper? No. Oh, here it is. Alright, we got one. Now the cabbage. And then the mandrake. There we go. Got it. So what does the plant do? Oh, it like spits at him. Man, these guys are actually they're they're about my level. Let's finish the rest of these guys off. <laughs> Turned him into a chicken. Fuck! Fuck, fuck, fuck! So, do we just. Do we get XP from just randomly uh, attacking? Like. Enemy mobs. Yeah, I'm not too sure if I like the transfiguration because it doesn't do any damage. As I thought uh, earlier. I mean, it might be useful for like. I mean, it's useful overall, anyways. How many of you are there? Oh my gosh. Whoa, what? What? Oh my... Some skeletons! Alright. You know what? I'm running. I don't care. Oh! I'm running. 
You'll need to be quicker than that. Oh, I'm, I'm pretty quick, boy. You'll never catch me. Alright. <laughs> Can we quick travel? We cannot, because we're still in combat. Alright. Oh, we do gain XP. We just got 120. Something to think about. I don't have, so we don't have to do quests. We can just farm enemy mobs if we ever needed to. I think it's probably more fun to just do quests, though, in my opinion. Oh, Professor G, finally. It's a hybrid, bouncing tentacular. What, what you want about? I finished the activities you assigned me, Professor Garlic. Oh, finally. Wonderful. I hope you gained a greater appreciation for the flora in our lives. I am forever enraptured by it. It was kind of difficult. I spent hours pruning my self-fertilizing shrubs and flutterby bushes. Didn't realize how long I'd been at it until the sun began to set. Well, if there's one thing I love to see more than my plants thriving, it's one of my students doing the same. Now, ready to learn flippendo? Chin up, keep a light grip, and it's all in the wrist. Let's see you give it a go. See, I remember in the you second Harry Potter game, Flipendo was like the you first spell you learned. It's interesting to see it out of order, kind of. Wonderfully done. Got it. If you'd like to practice a bit more, you're welcome to do so here in the greenhouse. Just. All right, let's replace the pulso with Flipendo. Look at that! You're a natural. Oh, it. They're lifted in the air. It's kind of like Levioso. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I think I'm going to end it there for now. Like and subscribe if you enjoyed this episode, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.